All right, that should be good. All right, back to this here. Fine, so kind of okay. We'll wait out a little bit while we're sitting here. Got seat belts on. Yep, good to go. Bringing the flaps up. And they're up. Well, we'll get a code, but... Okay. All right. Um, pushing this will give me a chance to change it to... Yeah, you actually... Car. you uh, to, to what? Because oh, it's got th a... Uh, that'll a go code. to the that squat code right there. You don't want to press that. Oh, because so it's on 1200 now. It's okay. on 1200, yeah. All right. Cool. And when you are ready to change it, you just tap that, and then you can put in the new one here, okay? Sweet. There we go. All right. See, I get the it is here. Okay. They have it on the bottom radio eight. already. Yeah. Up there, two nine or eight two. LS runway nine or approach and use landing and departing runway two seven. Advise on initial contact. You have latest information. Kilo. Riverside Airport information. Kilo time two two five two Zulu. Wind two six zero at one three. Visibility one zero. Sky clear. Temperature two four. 2.08, Altimeter 29 or 82. ILS runway 9 or approach and use landing and departing runway 27. Advise on initial contact, you have latest information, Kilo. Riverside Airport information, Kilo, time 2252 Zulu. Wind 260 at 13, visibility 10, sky clear, temperature 24, 2.08, Altimeter 29 or 82. ILS runway 9 or approach and use landing and departing runway 27. Advise on initial contact, you have latest information, Kilo. Riverside Airport information, Kilo, time 2252 Zulu. Wind 260 at 13, visibility 10, sky clear, temperature 24, 2.08, altimeter 29 or 82. All the way back. All the way back. Landing and departing runway 27. Advise on okay, initial now. contact. Nice and firm. What's up? Nice and firm now. Oh, okay. Riverside Airport information, Kilo, time 2252 Zulu. Hey, wind hey. 260 at 13. Visibility 10. Sky clear. Temperature 24. Okay. 2.08. Sure. Yeah, don't hold it. Nine. Let it nice and loose. All right. Then lock it, okay? Yeah, it's just making me look bad. <laughs> All right. I was gonna say, no wonder you failed that physical test. Can't even shut a door. Good God. Just I'm rub kidding. it in. <laughs> Alright. What oh, was the altimeter? It was 2982. 2982. 2. two. Get all that as we're texting, call them up, let them know we want to set up flight following on the ground here. That's right. All right, so it's 121.7 to what's in the radio there. Riverside ground, Cessna 654907. Cessna 65497, Riverside Ground. At the Flight Academy with information, Kilo uh, would like to depart for Thermal Airport. Uh, Kilo, Tango, Romeo, Mike, and if we can set up flight following here. Cessna 497 on request, runway 27, taxi via Echo Alpha. 27 via Echo and Alpha, uh, 497. Don't forget your parking brake, too. Yes, sir. All right, they're not even started yet. Oh, we're good. That's a good idea to push. Even though they already did. We have 497, information available. Advice ready to copy. We'll pick it up in the run-up area. Do I need to respond to anything to her right now? 
Yeah, let her know that we'll pick it up in the run-up area, that's all. Uh, we'll pick it up in the run-up area if we can uh, for 497. Scout 497, roger. There you go. I could get it for you, but then you're not learning. No. <laughs> Gotta be able to do a single pilot. Uh, that's right. I've had people, oh, can you get it for me while I taxi? No. <laughs> get your license and then I'll get it for you. Because then we could fly as a team. Right. That's fun. It's so much fun to do that. on the left, clear on the right. I'm trying to do that without using so much brake, but. This thing is, it's hard to taxi. I don't know what's up with the linkage in this airplane. It's a pain in the ass though. And all she should have for me is a squawk and departure frequency, right? Yeah, maybe a little bit extra, like remain at or below 2,500 until advised, something like that. Okay. Not like copying a whole IFR. No, it's not that bad. Parents. Cessna ground, Cessna 65497, I'm ready for the info. Cessna 497, upon departure, maintain VFR at or below 2500 until further advised. Departure control frequency 135.4, squawk 4710. Alright, we'll remain uh, VFR at or below 2500. Uh, departure contact 135.4 and 4710 on the box for 65497. Scout 497, read back correct. All right. Just for a second. And you can get that set up right now. So get all that stuff on uh, tuned in, okay? All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to tower and then plug that in. There you go. Oops. I like it. 135.4, which is what it should be. Right, and we'll get four seven one zero. Very good. All right. Brakes. North American nine six two eight one. We'll be out of center. North American two eight one. Runway two seven. Clear to land. Wind two six zero at one five. Clear to land two seven nine six two eight one. Set for takeoff. All right, flight controls are free and correct. Throttle up to seventeen hundred. Alright, left mag, 
There's a drop. Back to both. One, two. There's a drop. Back to both. RP. There. Alright, suction's good. Amps volts, good. At Tower, PD-1, we're all done here, but we're over Roar. We need to go over by Sears for a call real fast. PD-1, Roger, if you can, remain uh, south of the uh, runway, please. South of the uh, 27, PD-1. All right, sir, we are going to be good to go. We'll get the free takeoff, we'll get a heading indicator to compass. T6? That looks like it about... Oh, yeah. Cool, North America. It's, uh... I can't tell. Two seven. Hey, just a hair past 270. Yeah. going to be going to fuel. North American 281. Roger, you could left turn taxiway right. hotel and taxi via hotel. Get your ramp window before we go. Seven. Windows shut. Tell the ramp on and the uh, door is shut and latch as well. All right. And the transponder is in alt altitude mode, so that should take care of itself. Yep. All right. Okay, so now we have some extra equipment here that uh, I like to use. Okay. So I want to show you how to, have I shown you how to set up a flight plan in here? No, but I'm assuming. Yeah, that's the one flight plan. Good. So it already has our current waypoint, right? Now we can press this in, that activates that. We turn it? Yeah, so if you turn it backwards, Oh, no, so this one doesn't. That's in the 530. This is the 430. Uh, usually, if you turn it backwards, it gives you a list of nearby waypoints, but this one's not as. So, uh, we're going to go to Banning, right? Yeah. This first one. So yep. B. NG. Bravo November Golf. NG. Enter. Okay, and then it highlights the next one. Go ahead and put in PSP. There you go. And. Uh, it's not KPSP because that means it's an airport. PSP oh, the, is the, the way. The, the, yeah, we need. Yeah, the, uh, so just the just VOR. PSP exactly. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Right. Bomb rings. Yeah. Enter, and then the last one KTRM right. Not going to Truckee. <laughs> I hope not. There it is. Okay, looking good. Now we can exit. Just press this in to get rid of the little highlighter thing. Okay. And then you can go to clear, and that'll take you back to your map. And then what will happen is it'll put the little magenta line on there, and that shows our path. And I could even like zoom out far enough. We should be able to see the entire thing. Okay. Cool. Yeah, well, you get the idea. That's way out there. Five nautical miles. Sure, that's that's fine. There we go. And as we pass each waypoint, it'll update to the next one. Okay. So here I have uh, track to that. Oh, this is yeah. This is your uh, track, and this is your distance. Now this doesn't adjust for winds though. Okay. Okay. So you adjusted for wind. I want to change this too. Um, okay. Tower, Peter, one on here, moving on to the three waypoint. Press this in to switch PDR, now. Roger. Go ahead. Get that set up now, so we're sure. not doing it while we're flying. I like that idea. I'm not using anything else. I'll just hey, Tower Pier 1, if you don't mind, I'd like to come back to the hangar with the uh, Kilo. All right, so we should be good to go. Okay, let's go. PDR 1, landing the PD pad. We'll be at your own risk. Use caution. Wind 270 at 10, zero, gust 18. Thank you, PDR 1. Riverside Tower, Cessna 654-9 or 7, holding short of runway 27 at Charlie. Cessna 654-9 or 7, Riverside Tower, hold short runway 27. Holding short.
six five four nine or seven. They'll let that slide here, but if you go to any other airport, especially ones with parallel runways. Yeah, to say the runway? That's it. Alright. Yeah, just really always read back runway assignments. Those the police. Yeah. Yeah, a couple months ago it was nice and green out here. Everything's dead already. Yep, that all died. And even though we just got a little bit of rain, it was already too dead to uh, bounce back. Yep. So now it's all a fire hazard. Uh, we might get some rain on Wednesday. Cessna 497, left turn on departure, please. Runway 27, clear for takeoff. Uh, left turn on departure and cleared for takeoff, runway 27, 65, 497. Uh, final's clear, if I didn't. That. Speeds alive. Instruments are in the green. 55. Or up to. Cut off quick with that wind. Yeah, not bad. Nice headwind. make that left turn now a little bit more distance so it's not all about the 500 feet we want to make sure we're clear of the runway and about a quarter to half a mile away as well okay all right we'll give it a little bit more time we had a really great climb rate because of that headwind so probably should have mentioned when i first requested the flight flying that i'd be at 5500 right i'll ask once you get onto uh socal it's not that big of a deal okay now we're good turn left Four nine seven contact SoCal departure. All right, over to SoCal six five four nine seven. Yeah, one eight Yankee on your descent down, cross east of Ontario. SoCal Cessna six five four nine seven just off of Riverside Municipal two thousand four five thousand five hundred. So it's a 654907 SoCal departure, right down Ontario, 292982. 292982, and there's your flash. I'll hold it down until you see that. Okay. No problem. You had the right idea. <laughs> 4907, your radar contact south of our uh, correction a mile south of Riverside Airport. Your signs approved 5500, resume on navigation. Your radar contact a mile south of Riverside Airport, resume on navigation, and your VFR park climb is approved. All right, we'll resume our own navigation and uh, position checks. All right. Four down. Four two one Lima Hotel. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Not this time. He let it slide, but yeah, always end with your tail number, because you could be some other Joe Schmo calling in for you, right? Yep. Number two seven zero. Your descent approved at your discretion. I'll see your discretion. I told him where I wanted to go. I have the two-way radio contact. I'm, that means I shouldn't have a problem with the March Charlie. No for Romeo. No problem. Turn right writing two six zero. Join Victor. 363 is my navigation. Off to Banning. Off to Banning we go. Before 2 one Lima Hotel, so got a parts ride down on Terry Altimeter 2 9 or 8 2, you climb the first.
cars, leaning to make sure and all that. We don't do that until we get to cruise. You can, uh, you can start leaning it out beforehand. So once I'm above like 3,000, that's when I start leaning it out. 4907, contact approach, 134.0. 134.0, 654907. I'll do that for sure. Right? 134.0. Thank you. Yep. 6.7. For 3 Tango Sierra, that was uh, 6. Uh, just say again, please, for 3 Tango Sierra. 126.7 for 3 Tango Sierra. Have a good day. Twitch 126.7 for 3 Tango Sierra. See ya. Thanks for the help. Yep. So, Cal Cessna 654907 is. 3,700 for 5,500. Number 6549, so you have 7 SoCal first, you said you're climbing to 5,500? That's for 5,500 if that works for you. Yep. I should text you. That's a 5213-9er, contact SoCal first. You're doing great. You have the radio work of a 200-hour pilot. You're doing great. 6.7, thank you. 5, 2, 3, 9, 10. A little bit hazy out there, huh? Yeah, but oh, we so hit the smooth pocket. Stuck in the didn't it? Yep. I like it. Number like uh, six seven whiskey, stand by. Hard to tell because the tax bouncing just a little bit. I know. Number six seven whiskey, you can descend now. Uh, oh, wait till we get uh, unrestricted six seven whiskey. Six seven whiskey traffic twelve o'clock. Seven miles climb off direction, more. climbing out of forty three hundred to Skyhawk. Negative contact, look at the thermal seat. Alright, here, where is he at? So, Cal American 2389, uh -huh. 1870, depending on the uh, Disney One arrival, we have uh, Fox Trot. American 2389, SoCal Approach, Roger, Ontario, Altimeter 2982. 82, Cal. Hey, this is pretty intense. So, Cal, Paris 7, a flight at 3 out of 3,300, requesting uh, 17,900. Paris 7, SoCal departure, I didn't on request. Paris 7. Watch your heading. Head is supposed to be 080. Yeah. Paris, 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 Paris 7, what's the uh, same number in flight? Uh, three in the flight, sir. Okay. Paris 4, to contact a uh, mile northwest of Paris Valley, 14 minutes prior. Paris 4, we'll go. Nanza 6, 7, Whiskey Traffic, Hills Factor, contact Riverside Tower, get it. Go to Tower, thanks for help, 6, 7, Whiskey. November 6, 5, 4, 9, 7, traffic 11 o'clock, and three miles westbound, 6,500, the Golden Eagle will be descending. Got it? Yep. Uh, traffic's inside, 654907. Number one, Papa Sierra, traffic 11 o'clock, two miles eastbound, Skyhawk, 5,000 climbing has the inside. You can uh, begin your descent now for Chino. Begin our descent, look at the traffic, 421 Papa Sierra. Number 497, that traffic's going to descend through your altitude off your left side. Got him. Yeah, we got him inside, he should be no factor, 654907. Yeah. He's way out there, I don't even know why he's almost about him. Shuttle 5969, SoCal departure, Roger. Expect higher in 12 miles. Gotcha. There's a guy down there. Yeah. About 2,500 below us. Yeah. Yeah, I got him on T gas. I didn't see him until I leveled out. He's on the fish finder. One pop is here, contact SoCal approach 125.5. 125.5, 421 pops here. Shuttle 5969, traffic 10, uh, 10 to 9 o'clock and uh, 12 miles southwest bound out of 10 for 8 to 737. Alright, we're looking. Southwest 6009, traffic 1 o'clock, 8 miles southeast bound, 7000 level regional jet. 
Cal approach, Roger. And uh, remain east of the 15th for Scott having a beam like elsewhere. Roger, one Lima Hotel. East of the 15th. Approach Cherokee 63, Niner 3 Juliet with you at 6393 Julius SoCal approach, advise me at the weather, French Valley, altimeter 2982. 2982, and I will advise, 93 Julius. There is nice and cool up here. Yeah, not bad, huh? For now, too. I control Skyhawk 51 Hotel, yeah. uh, returning now to Brownfield. November 51 Hotel, right there. I used to live over there. Yeah? The uh, housing right off of San Timoteo Canyon. Oh, okay. From Bonanza 951 Yankee, we're Did you like it? Here. Yeah, it's a nice little area. Heading out of 6,700. Okay, for work or? 1569 traffic, no factor, call uh, the main chain 14,000. No, unfortunately because of uh, divorce. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so. Southwest, 6,000, traffic, no factor, conductor, bridge 124 point one. Twenty four one Southwest, 6,000. November 1, 8, Yankees, Southwest, Roger. That's okay, I'll, uh, 1, uh, Lima Hotel. We'd like to do a couple of uh, turns out here. November 1, Lima Hotel, Roger. Approved as request to devise on course. Like Paris is still lower level than it used to be. What's that? Citation 80 Juliet, Juliet, so Cal Approach, and Cal Simitor 2982. 2982. Must be doing work on a dam or something, that's why they keep it low. Oh, really? Airship off 5969, contact Los Angeles. You can tell the smooth area on the island, when it all used to be, uh... 2565, November 1, Romeo Bravo, contact approach 126.7. If they can't hear you right away, try back in about 10 miles. All right, 26.7, we're in a I got really full after those rains. It's starting to go back down again. November 903, Juliet, contact March Approach, 133.5. I'm sorry, repeat. Time to do it. November 903, Juliet, contact March Approach, 133.5. 133.5, 903, Juliet, get it. Is that the casino way out there, the... Juliet, Juliet, turn right heading 180, vector 4KO, just going to maintain 8,000. 180, Juliet, heading down to 8,000, 8 Juliet, Juliet. SoCal, Paris 4, 2 minutes prior. Additional aircraft, 2 minutes prior to skydiving over Paris, jump zone, 24,000 and below. Bumpy over the hills. Yeah, it's going to get pretty bumpy going through those hills right there. Yeah. November 1 8, Yankee traffic, 2 o'clock, 5 miles, maneuvering the Cessna 2 421 at 5,500. Okay, 1 8, Yankee, we're looking for that traffic. And you said 2 o'clock, correct? Affirmative. Yankee, looking for that traffic. Air American 2389, contact approach 124.1. 124.1, American 2389, get it. So, what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to pay really close attention to how much our altitude and airspeed changes. Not because you do anything wrong, but when you get into really Coach. bad turbulence, Skyhawk Fly One Hotel request. You can track how bad it is and then give a pirep, a pilot report. 
If I see anything greater than November 5-1 hotel, say request. 10 knots. The 5-1 hotel, uh, like or 100 feet, I'm going to report it. 500, right. that doesn't interfere. November 5-1 hotel, please is requested. Start 5-1 hotel. November 1-8, Yankee traffic, no factor, contact March approach, 133.5. 133.5 on Yankee. Citation 8, Juliet, Juliet, turn right, proceed direct, press, resume the KO arrival. I repeat that for you, Juliet, Juliet. Citation 8, Juliet, Juliet, turn right, direct, press, resume the KO 7 arrival. Hey, yeah, we're not on arrival, one are vector 1804, Juliet, Juliet. November 8, Juliet, Juliet, weren't you assigned the KO arrival? Uh, negative. Number 8, Juliet, Juliet, Roger, turn right, heading 230, vector for fret. 230 on heading, hey, Juliet, Juliet. Golden Eagle uh, 1 Lima Hotel is uh, starting a descent to uh, French Valley. Number 8, Juliet, Juliet, just verify that you are landing John Wayne. A negative, it's Hemet for 8, Juliet, Juliet. Number 8, Juliet, Juliet, roger that. Find it. Turn left heading 130 to set a maintain 6,000. 130 on heading, down to 6,000, 8, Juliet, Juliet. Lima Hotel starting a uh, VFR descent to uh, French Valley. Number one, Lima Hotel, Roger. Remain outside of the Paris jump zone. Lima Hotel. Number one, Lima Hotel. Contact March Approach, 133.5. 335, one, Lima Hotel. Number eight, Juliet, Juliet. Contact March Approach, 133.5. 335, eight, Juliet, Juliet. November 5-1 Hotel, contact approach 127.3. 127.3 for 5-1 Hotel. SoCal okay, Paris 7, uh, we're out of 11 now. Uh, 5, flight of uh, 3, are we good for 17-9? Uh, That's a high jump. They're asking for 17-9? <laughs> Air 7, I'm still working on the point out, so not answering my line. Stand by. Okay, no problem. Oh, I wonder why they're going up so high. I did uh, 12,500 for my uh, 18th birthday. Nice. Out of Paris, they usually go out 14. 13, 5, 14. Uh, 17.9, so they're, they want to be like right below the alpha. Yeah. And they're going to. Actually, altitude, I guess. I don't know. Pair 7, your climb's approved to 17.9. Pair 7, clear 17.9, thank you. So, Cal, Pair 4, all droppers away, descending. Pair 4, Roger. They want to close the Banning Airport. Want to? Yeah, they voted to do it. They're gonna. That's my home airport. That's sad. Right. Time they want to close it. Contact approach one two six point seven. Who was that for? That for us. Approach. Sorry, was that for? Is this a six five four nine or seven? Number six five four nine or seven. Affirmative. Contact approach one two six point seven. Right. Oh, one two six point seven. See. There's four traffic a mile south of your position, southeast span up to indicates 4,500. Yeah, I was like, all right, no one else is answering. Yeah, yeah it must be. Four, I think and I heard a nine or seven, I was like, uh... Visual approach, three one left, radar one eight. Oh. Baron one zero zero, you can descend your discretion for banning. Okay, one zero zero, we're going to start out of, uh, down now. We got the field site. Everyone's here, Roger. Um, you and Clark VFR team supervisory, and have a good day. Everyone's here, good day. 
SoCal Cessna 6549 seven five thousand five hundred. Five four nine seven SoCal approach. Palm Springs altimeter two nine six eight. I have no landing or weather information available for Jackie Cochran. I'm sorry, I missed that. What? Say again that information for two nine or uh, for four nine or seven. 497, uh, Palm Springs altimeter 2968. I have no landing available information for Jackie Cochran. He has no information available? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, I got this. 2968 for 497, and we'll pick up the minute weather on the AWOS on the way out. Thanks, 497. Thank you. Yeah, that's uh, what me off of Traffic 1 o'clock and a mile west. Yeah. Down. This thing Mooney slightly faster than you. They're climbing out of 5,500, straight 5,500. Looking for traffic 9057. That's what threw me off, is I couldn't understand. Morning, 9 or 5, 7, what you're going to say at 6,500. Yeah, so he's saying that he doesn't have the weather information, because yeah. they usually brief you on the weather, or you tell them you have the weather. So he, it, it, one zero contact it's an ASOS one frequency, so they don't pick that up, they only pick up uh, ATIS frequencies. One one Alright. So we'll pick it up once we get out closer. Alright, so how do I tune this to what I want? Well, you already have it tuned in, right? 115.5? Right. So you want to track directly to it? Well, I had the 089 is what I had on the paper. All right, well, let's see uh, what that gives us. Hello. I did something, didn't it? Yeah. So, that means I need to go left? Slightly. That's bad Romeo Bravo approved. Just a 139er, descend your discretion for thermal. Excuse me, can you say it again? 5-2-1-3-9-er. 5-2-1-3-9-er, uh, descend your discretion for thermal. Descend now, 5 2 3 9 one 3 9 Roger. 21 Bravo Alpha, contact approach, 134.0, good day. 1340, 1 Bravo Alpha, see ya. System 9 contact approach, 134.0, good day. Alright, now watch what this says. We're about to pass Fanning, and it switched over. See that? Nice. I need to go more right. No, you're actually okay. I mean, that'll track you. I want you to stay a little bit uh, north of the freeway. Approach, Mercy 3, level 3,000, 8 miles north, Palm Springs request. North of Palm Springs, Higgins. Aircraft at 3,000 north of Palm Springs, Higgins. Uh, it's Mercy 3, and medevac, and looking for a flight following to Joshua Tree, if able. Coming in broken, uh, try again. Yeah, Mercy 3, just looking for a flight following. Currently 8 miles north of uh, Palm Springs, CFR to Joshua Tree, uh, if able. Is that Mercy 3? AFR. So we're going to have opposite direction traffic, 1,600 feet above, okay? And Mercy 3, are you going to request flight following? How far out is that? Two miles? This is a two-mile radius, so now he's about one mile out. I don't see him. I don't either. Uh, approach Mercy Slightly 3. Slightly off to the left. Yeah, he's still coming in broken for me, and uh, delay my request. I'll just maintain VFR. Thank you. Mercy 3, Roger. And our, off our left wing, and they're gone. <laughs> so the length of the... Okay. Seven, traffic alert, 12 o'clock, so 1 o'clock, 1 mile southwest on 5,800. Turn left immediately if not in sight. In sight. Uh, we got the traffic in sight for 497, thank you. 97, Roger. They appear to be descending. No problem. So the length yeah, of that needle is how fast they are. One three nine or squawk VFR radar service terminate for exchange approved. Good day. Good day. Five two one three nine. Rear file exchange approved. Probably gets a little bit busy through here, huh? Yes, it does. Because of the terrain? Yeah. 
Definitely got to keep your head on a swivel out here. Doesn't help with the haze. All right, that's true. I didn't even spot the guy on this side. He was pretty easy to spot, but... The other guy didn't even see him. I think it was the uh, angle of the, the sun, too. Well, that, he was our altitude, practically, yeah. so... It was easy to see. We have a ground speed of 130 knots. Oh, really? Yeah, and our indicated airspeed is oh, yeah. 100 knots. Yeah. 132? We got a 30 knot tailwind. 133? Hey. 134? 135? <laughs> it's actually not that bumpy, though. It's not that uh, bad. I'm just sitting, cause I'm sitting here staring at that. Yeah. Well, no wonder we're going so fast. 137. Right. I'm wondering, Bravo, I'd like to do it now at 180, head to, head to uh, my destination uh, as I continue to descend. Romeo, Bravo, approved. Thank you. Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. Because we're on the north side. It's my trick. The Palm Springs right there? Yep. There's actually a lot of water flowing through here. Out of the mountains. Probably because of the snow. Yeah. Keep wanting to descend here. In fact, you're not physically descending, even though it shows you. You know what's going on? Pressure's changing. But you're getting a different indication. Oh, well, you need the Palm Springs altimeter. Oh, because we already switched over. 2.9 yeah. or 6.8. That's way lower pressure than what they were reading up in Riverside, right? Yeah. So because we switched it over early, though... Uh, and where you went from the higher pressure into the lower pressure area. This is showing as sense. if we're getting into uh, uh, one Romeo Bravo, higher pressure. Clock on VFR, have a good day, one Romeo Bravo. Higher pressure area because we switched it over soon, uh, sooner. That makes sense. I see why they have the... Uh the notum on Palm Springs to not confuse the taxiway with the uh, runway with it being repaved. Yeah, because it looks just like a runway. <laughs> yeah. Other than it's just a little bit close to it. Right, well, and then the thing is that taxiway goes in between two runways. So yeah. it's really easy to mix up because there's a really short one and then there's a longer one. Yeah, I've landed at Palm Springs a few times. I might be flying out of there, actually. Yeah. Yeah, for, um, well, if I get the job. I'm interviewing for an airline right now. Okay. Cause that's only like a, a 30 minute drive from my house. 
I live, in, yeah, I live in Beaumont. Yeah, and not as usually as much traffic either. Let's, uh, I think we're close enough. Let's see if we can get the minute weather. ASOS. Yep. And I didn't write that down. I'm an idiot. Oh, that's okay. Oh. Huh. The floor flight's popping it right up. I got it. One one eight three two five. Yeah, I got it right there too. Okay, that's weird. So one one eight three two five. Right, but there's See this little switch up here that yeah. goes to five. There. Oh, uh, okay. Gotcha. I hit the top one right there. Remarks. Density altitude 2,300. Ooh, it went up. Jacqueline Cochran, Regional Airport. Automated weather observation 0006 Zulu. Wind 300 at 07. Visibility 0, 1, 0, 0, 7. Sky condition clear. Temperature I, I heard three, three zero zero zero, zero seven. Yeah. Dew point yeah. minus zero three Celsius. Altimeter two niner six three. Remarks. Density altitude two thousand three hundred. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, there we go. All right. Now we can let them know that we have the uh, weather information available for Cochrane. SoCal Cessna six five four nine or seven. We have the weather at Cochrane. All right, did we just blow through the VOR or am I just on a different course now? Oh yeah, I've turned. Yeah, we blew through the VOR. There it is. Same. Yep. That's okay. Now, started following the freeway instead of the... Yeah, which is fine. Now what radial from the VOR are we going to track? You know what? I didn't calculate that out. Uh -huh. Oh, ho, oh. ho. You know how to get, to get to the VOR, but not from the VOR. Correct. Uh, pretty close to one two zero, maybe one three zero. Just eyeballing it real quick. Okay, well we'll see what uh, what this says. Oh, there it is. You can see the VR. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there we go. It's saying about one two six. Now you'll notice if you keep flying this way though. Let's see the one two six three, right? So we'll actually, if you keep flying this way, you'll start to see that needle swing in. Okay, we'll do that. Two one three nine or so, Cal. Oh, request flight following to Long Beach at four thousand five hundred. This is Cessna one seven eight to Albert. Thank you. All right, you're fine. This is the pilot. Close enough, dude. Went through it just a little bit. All right, you got it. You're good. Zero two one five. Thank you. I mean, not like I'm practicing IFR stuff yet. Exactly. But I mean, if you blow through it a little bit, just. 
Cut it back in. Okay, I'll it's not that big of a deal. Seven, seven, one, level 7,000. Got a, something out there straight ahead. Seven, seven, one, uh, uh, that that, that might be our airport. Either that or Bermuda Dunes, I'm not sure. Eight, seven, Bermuda seven, Dunes is right off the six, freeway. Seven, and when I have no landing or weather information available for Bermuda Dunes. Permanent. It's really hard to spot. Seven, one. Bermuda Dunes is right in front of us, right along the freeway. 52139 radar contact, three miles north. Yes, the one way out there. That's Cochrane. Oh, you saw it right here? Yeah. Oh, I see it. You do? Okay, good. Oh, yeah, that, right that's for me to do. 2,000 feet. I'm going to climb up to 4,500 feet. 52139. Now, isn't there a way to have this thing tell me when I should begin my descent or whatever? So 139er, yeah. at 4,500 feet, you're going to go through March Class Charlie on the other side of Banning. At 6,500, you'll stay with the SCT. Do you want to go through March's airspace or stay with SCT? Um, can I get to March airspace? Uh, or 2139. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to go through marches? Yeah, it's a march approach, right? 5239? Okay, no problem. I just, I just want to make sure. No, you can't set up VNAP. Thank you, 5239. Okay, not on the 430. Los Angeles Center, Falcon 2 530 Golf Bravo, flight level 220, descending via the Throne 1 arrival. But so I usually Bravo, 10 miles out. Roger, out That's usually eight. what I do. 7 Golf Bravo, Roger. Local approach, this is 5213. Can you say altimeter to me again? Oh, Palm Springs altimeter 2968. 2968, thank you. 5213. Alright, so you can see the runway in front of us, right? Yep. So remember, we want to enter on the left base for 3-0. So let's go ahead and track a little bit more to the uh, to the south so that we can enter right on the left downwind. I mean, not base, sorry. Downwind. Yeah. Sounds good. And since we have it in sight, we can tell SoCal, too, uh, that our destination airport's in sight. We're ready to start our VFR descent. SoCal, Cessna 65497. Uh, we have the field in sight ready to come in. Begin VFR descent. Seven, your descent's approved. For now, stay north of Interstate 10 for traffic. Traffic is 1 to 12 o'clock, 6 miles, climbing out westbound of Cessna out of 2,900 for 4,500. All right, we'll stay north of the 10, and we're looking for traffic, 65497. Cessna 139er, traffic 12 to 1 o'clock, 5 miles, east-south-eastbound, VFR Cessna descending out of 5,300. Looking for traffic, 5200. He's not going to be able to see us five miles out. Got. All right, Cessna, come on, you're overreacting. He said uh, we could descend, though, right? Yeah, hey, he said we could descend, just stay north of the freeway. All right. We'll just kept cut back over here. I got him on TCAS. Yeah, I see the TCAS. He's 2,000 below or 1,900 below. Hello, SoCal American 2260 with you out of 11 to 10,000 with information, Victor. American 2260, SoCal approach, descend and maintain 7,000, Palm Springs altimeter 2968. 2968, down to 7,000, here we go, American 2260. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Nine or seven. The traffic's two o'clock. Actually, one to two o'clock. Three miles west northwest. I'm climbing out of three thousand six hundred. Yeah. Let him know we got it on TCAS, but we don't. Uh, don't see him yet, but we got him on the TCAS for six five four nine or seven. Uh, in the climb. This is a flight nine or so. Cal approach. Your right turn on course is approved. Maintain VFR. And what else did you climbing to? We're going to climb up to 5,000. We're in the right turn now. Uh, on navigation to thermal. We have the weather. There's a flight nine and roger. System 497, traffic center 2, moving 3 o'clock now, 2 miles. Yeah, I still don't see them, but we got them on the TCAS for 65497. 497, roger. They'll stay off your right now. You can resume on navigation. Squawk VFR, change to advisory. Have a good day. All right, we'll squawk VFR. Uh, you have a good day. Alright, so I don't even not see them. Behind you, no factor. 
I don't know. Looking for traffic. Five two one three nine. One three nine. Traffic. No factor. All right. Can you see again? Five two three point zero. Traffic. No factor. This poor guy. <laughs> All right, so we want to land three zero. Yes, sir. All right, let's make an announcement. Yep. Get my bearings here. So three zeros, the one on the other side there. The okay. Just make sure everything right. Yeah, you can kind of see three zeros going this way, so we could yep. see this runway coming out this way, right? Yep. Yeah. Is it so? Is it thermal or Cochrane or? It's Cochrane, and right. it used to be thermal. Now right. it's Cochrane. I still call it thermal. Cochrane traffic Cessna six five four nine or seven is six and a half miles to the west. Uh, inbound for landing three zero Cochrane. Excellent. We said pattern altitude is going to be about 900. That's right. So if you look at your descent checklist, it'll tell you to start bringing in your uh, mixture too. You don't have to jam it all the way in, but like bring it in halfway, and then once you get closer, bring it in the rest of the way. Right. Yeah, especially because we're going to a really low altitude airport, right? As soon as we started descending, maybe uh, 30 seconds after, I pushed it maybe a half an inch. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. I didn't see you do that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Point being though, if you're never sure, if you're not sure what to do, checklist, 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 okay? Yes, sir. Oh, you know what? We didn't need to, uh, I didn't write it down. I wrote it down. Point minus zero two Celsius. Altimeter two niner six three. That. All right. Yeah. Difference too, huh? Three. Cochrane traffic, Cessna 65497 is four miles to the northwest, inbound for landing runway 30 Cochrane. Not like west, but I guess it's northwest, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, I see the Salton Sea. Ah. Past the Salton Sea. And at the Calexico Airport, right on the border, best burritos there. Skyhawk 97283 ah. is at parking, taxiing to runway 35. Yes, we should. There's a lot of airspace to deal with, with uh, like restricted areas and stuff yeah, it's like that. It's not too bad. It's pretty easy to get through. The food is so authentic, you have to order in Spanish. Oh, nice. Because it's like you're on the border when you're in the pattern. Like you can see the wall right there. It's like 200 feet away. <laughs> Pretty cool. Thermal traffic is flight nine airs. Citation CJ3. We're about uh, one one eleven miles to the northwest out of five thousand inbound for left downwind three zero thermal. Should I call it thermal since that's what he's calling it? Sure. Thermal traffic, Cessna 65497's entering the left downwind, runway 30 thermal. That citation is going to land on 30? Ah, that's, that's plenty of runway. I guess we'll be fine. Seven Wait. miles, we should be fine. Well, I'm just surprised that they're taking the shorter yeah. runway. I mean, I'm just thinking about the fact that there's a citation running down from behind. <laughs> I see him, he's coming up our ass. No. <laughs> I'll watch from on here too. All right, that worked pretty good. I shouldn't have that one out there. Yet. Think of this, like a little go kart track. <laughs> it looks like it doesn't. That looks freaking awesome. All right. Wow, you had like the perfect descent down into like 
the pattern <laughs> ready <laughs> for the rest. Oh, that worked pretty and well. And 900 ready to start landing. <laughs> right. Even with the numbers there. All right. Get the rest of that uh, mixture in too. We're in a really uh, high oh, yeah. density area. Up a little bit here. Um, slow us down. Not so flat. And you can feel the heat. Traffic at Thermal, what's your location? This is Desert Flight Niner. We are Citation CJ3 out of 3000. And we're still about five miles out for a straight and left downwind 30. A thermal traffic Cessna 654907's left base for runway 30 thermal. We got you inside, thank you. No problem. What's that? Uh, nothing, I was just mocking the guy. And thermal, this is Skyhawk 97283, taxiing to 35. Oh, you're high. We're, we're like the spatial, take out some power. Got all the power, there you go. An announcement that you're on final. Thermal traffic Cessna 654907's on final runway 30 thermal. I see the taxi and traffic there. Oh, yeah. An interesting airport. Thermal traffic, Desert Flight Niner, Citation CJ3, left down with 30 thermal. Somebody hit the brakes here. Good marks. Oh. Thermal traffic, Cessna 654907 is clearing the runway 30. Thermal. All right. Well, since that's the runway, we'll get all the way off here. Good. All right. Take it to repeat. Off. That's so warm so quick. Yeah. Yeah, about what, 2,000 or so? Traffic goes flight nine or citation CJ3. This is weird. Space, runway 3, zero, thermal. 100 feet below out. <laughs> right? Crashed. And right. the ground. All right. I got an announcement that we're taxiing. All right. What taxiways? They didn't have anything on the chart. Golf 3, we're on golf, golf. yeah. Thermal traffic Cessna 654907 is texting back to runway 30 on Gulf. I see that citation over there. Oh, yeah. On the base. The only reason you probably saw us when I made that call is because we were turning. Yep, wings up. Drop a disc flight liner, sufficient CJ3 turning one mile final, run with three zero thermal. No problem. Thermal traffic Skyhawk 97283 yeah. is taking off on runway 35, right downwind departure. Uh, you know, there's a citation coming in on the crossing runway, right? I was just thinking, is there enough distance that that's not an issue? I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't either. Well, no, he's fine. He's not going to... Should be okay. Yeah, he's not going to run into him now. I'm more worried about the wake turbulence. I wouldn't want to land under that uh, wake turbulence. You know what? Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> What's the citation landing? 
is there here that they want to see? Uh, stagecoach still going on, or is that over by now? I don't know. Okay. Did wait. I guess he probably should have just said he was. There he is. Yeah. Oh, huh, they got the big, uh, Already. down the freeway the other day and I saw those over one of the runways in Ontario. Oh, really? Air repayment I mean, or something. Not laying there. All right. So, now we're just going to go back. That's it. Don't need to run up. We just did all that. Cool feature. Check this out. Flight plan. Reverse. Menu. Invert. Enter. Done. We Here. All right. So, uh... Thermal traffic does a flight niner is uh, sufficient CJ3 clear of 3 yeah. 0 at Golf, taxi via Golf, Fox Rock to Desert Jet Center. Thermal. Point seven. What, was that the last SoCal we were talking to? 126.7, yep. So we can use that. What I looked up was 135.275, but we could use that too. Let me uh, check real quick here. Yeah, it's saying, uh, I don't know, I mean, what do you think? Because it's saying on here 1235.275. I'm sorry, 135.275. We can use that. If that's what it says, let's let's try it. Let's make a mistake. Let's try something new. All right. We're going to go by what our book says. So let's change it over. I write down that last one. <laughs> nah, it's not that big of a deal. All right, 135. 135.275. 135.275. Yep. All right. You ready to go? I'm ready to go if you are. Citation taxied out that way, so it works. Thermal traffic, Cessna 654 seven is taking runway 30 for a northwest departure. Thermal. Excellent. Great job so far. Brian. I'm in a little high on that approach. That's my only complaint so far. Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> I thought I extended it out. Maybe I was... Yeah, I think you cut it in a little soon. I don't think you pulled back the power enough either. So we kind of floated you know a bit. I think you're right. I think it was still a higher power setting. A little bit, yeah. Just a little bit. Enough to make it a steeper approach. I mean, it was manageable. We didn't have to slip. We just pulled back the power. It's okay. But, uh, next time, okay? Yes, sir. All right. Speed's alive. Instruments are in the green. Fifty-five. Huh. Must have been a little bit of a crosswind there. A little bit. Okay, they got a few jets out there. It just seems like it's such a pain in the ass to taxi out to a runway at this airport, you know what I mean? Yeah. Terminals are a little bit far away. Uh, FBOs, whatever. Alright, so our VOR is the same, but now we're on a from. Yes. So, actually, change it over to a two. So you just have to swap these, right? Yeah. yeah. That's it. Where we are. So, do I need to make any other calls saying we're clear of the area or anything? Yeah, so, you should. Uh, just let everybody know you're exiting the airspace uh, northwest heading. Okay, straight out. Thermal traffic, Cessna 654907 is leaving the area to the northwest. Thermal. All right. Thermal traffic, SR nine seven two eight three. We're about seven miles south of the airport. Last call. All right. You're pretty low, right? So they may not be able to pick you up. All right. We'll wait a second. We'll just listen. Yeah. I think so.
Bruce had 6,500 this time. Yeah, I think so. I'm afraid if we go any lower, we will hit all those bumps. Yeah. I thought we were in pretty smooth air coming through, so I say we, we stick with higher. SoCal approach Cessna 65497 with request. And there's going to be nobody there. <laughs> Remember what the frequency was we were last on? Uh, one second. There, oh, there we go. So call approach Cessna 65497. I'd like to uh, pick up flight following back to Riverside Municipal. Fifteen seventeen, SoCal approach, Palm Springs, Altimers, two nine or six seven. Not for you. Yep. Cessna four nine or seven, say type aircraft. Uh, Cessna one seven two. For equipment, what would it be? Flank call. Let's give him a minute though. He doesn't really care about that. He wants to know how fast you go. <laughs> Seven state position. About seven miles northwest of Cochrane Regional. Yes. I'd say ten miles, but okay. He'll, he'll be able to look in this area. Oh, yeah. Yeah, ten miles, I'd say. Fifteen miles southeast of the Palm Springs VOR. Gotta yeah. use that. Number six five four nine or seven squawk zero two five one. Altimeters two nine or six seven. Zero two five one. All right, well, zero two five one in the box for six five four nine or seven. Bonanza 36 minor contact Los Angeles Center 128.6. And uh, 26167 for the altimeter. System 431, yep. That's 67431, uh, altimeter is 29067, Palm Springs Victory at the airport in sight. That wasn't for me, right? 431 in our left traffic uh, at 3,500. Through on left traffic, 3500, turn left now, heading 135, report the oh. field. Gone way too fast, I'm not climbing enough. There you go. Right yeah. turn 135, right turn 135. You don't have to keep it at VY though, if you want to keep it more like a cruise climb, like 80 knots, that's fine. Alright. Especially since we have a ways to go. The jet 796, SoCal, Palm Springs, up number 29067, no weather landing information available, Jack E. Cochran. Six five four nine or seven. Your radar contact a mile southeast of the dunes at a thirty eight hundred sail two climbing. I'd like uh, six thousand five hundred and position check six five four nine or seven. Four nine seven climbs approved. I need to answer that. Seven three one contact tower uh, left traffic thirty five hundred. Have you want you could just say four nine or seven like I understand yeah just come back with your identifier. All right. Guys, 218 Mike, SoCal, Palm Springs, Altimers, 2967, fly heading 240, descend to maintain 7000. Southwest 1517, contact approach 134.0, good day. Southwest 1517, contact approach 134.0. Bonanza 9 or 7, 3 Sierra, SoCal Approach, Palm Springs, Altimers, 2 9 or 6 7. Jet Jet 796, descend and maintain 8000.
Definitely going to, well, it's not too bad. Right now it's not too bad. Alright, uh, it's not too bad. To the pass, it'll be really shocking. I do, I have it right here. Yeah. I can give it to you right now if you want it. Do you want to depart via farther? Okay, I'll just give you the full clearance and then uh, you can call me airborne. Set jet 796, you are cleared to the Carlsbad Airport via the Thermal Mecca 1 departure. Thermal, Victor 208, Oceanside Direct. Departure maintain 4000. Spec 1 2000 as your final. Departure frequency, this frequency, Squawk 4607. Mike Echo Charlie Charlie Alpha One. Yeah. 796, your read back is correct. You can hold for release or just give me a call airborne VFR out of below, uh, out of below 10,000 if you're VFR departure. Yeah, this one or 3527, sometimes that works too. This guy was 218 Mike, descend to maintain 4000, report to fill. That was 218 Mike, descend to maintain 4000, report to fill. That was 218 Mike, thank you, cross the interstate, I will get 4000, clear visual approach, 31 left. Pressure changes? Yeah. Jet 796, lower shortly. Sky with 218 Mike, traffic 1 o'clock, 5 miles northwestbound, Skyhawk 5500, you'll pass behind. Hey, they talk about us. <laughs> uh, this thing can't climb worth shit. Oh. The jet 796 traffic 11 o'clock, 6 miles, left to right, south westbound, 6400 descending regional jet. The jet 796, thank you for now, descend to maintain 7000. That was 218 Mike, Skyhawk is a no factor additional traffic, 2 becomes 3 o'clock and 5 miles southeastbound, uh, Challenger jet descends out of 8 for 7, he'll be stepped down above you. actually see that Challenger jet, they're heading right for us. They're That's what I was going to say, uh, it's got to be, oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Jet 796, descend to maintain 6,000. Hey, if the last call out was someone behind us. Yeah, this guy right here. Yeah. Okay, 218 Mike, traffic, no factor, tower 19.7, good day. At 2,000 feet. Yeah, we're good. Jet 796, Roger, regional jets is uh, 12 o'clock and two and a half miles left to right, 5,000 descending. Just off your nose there, through 50 or 4,900 there. I'll get your approach clearance here in a second. That's him, we set jet 796, reference that traffic. You are clear visual approach, Jackie Cochran. Jet 2697, SoCal there. approach. Good yeah. evening, Palm Springs, Altimeter, 2967. Jet 796, no traps are between you and the airport. Change the advisory cancel as soon as practical. Jet 796, IFR cancellation is received. Squawk 1200, free change approved. We'll see in a little bit. corner a little bit too if you want. If you want to go all the way to the Palm Springs VOR, that's fine. Yeah. But I mean, you can see the pass there. Yeah. 
Uh, we want to get north of the freeway anyway, so this is fine. Nine seven three seven. What else you just sent Well, not too bad. Yeah, it really isn't. I think it's a higher altitude. Yeah. The winds aloft looked like they were pretty consistent through the different altitudes, but just the thinner air probably helped. Yeah, I'm sure our true airspeed is right around there, 105. That's just our indicated airspeed there, so. Looks pretty cool with the haze and the hills, though, peeking out. I know. I like it. Like right at the top of the haze layer here too. Yeah. See the transition between the really clear air and the yep. hazy air. There are a lot of pilots get in trouble actually. Do you know why? Why is that? Where clouds form. Oh, okay. Right here, here, you can see a few cumulus clouds off in the distance. It's right along that haze layer over there, too. So that boundary can obscure the clouds in front of you, and you think you're just in the boundary. and You, you can't really see laterally. You can see it below it, and so you think you got the visual, and then poof, everything goes white. Yeah, time for a 180. Yeah, pretty much. We don't have those kind of conditions today. We just don't have the saturation, but... Um, yeah, dew point's really low. Yeah, it's not bad, especially out here. The closer we get out to uh, Riverside, it gets uh, a little bit higher, but out here it's not an issue. Yeah, there's some cloud cover, like, scattered around this earlier in the morning. Yeah. I started trying to plan where I wanted to go. I think this is a pretty good challenge. I wanted to try maybe do this, or maybe do, like, the Cajon Pass, going up to, like, Barstow, but... This, this is pretty cool. This is a good one. I see a glistening of another aircraft. 2697, contact yep. approach, 134.0. Right Who was that for? Not for us. Right. Good Good here. Oh, he's, yeah, he's way right out there. at our altitude, though. Can you tell which way he was going on there? Yeah, yeah it shows him going uh, roughly the same direction, a okay. little bit more to the south. Oh, I doubt we catch him. I'd be really surprised if we caught him. 
This thing climbs like a pig, man. Going to Big Bear would be like almost impossible. Yeah, this thing's it's got a cruise prop on it, not a climb. 973 Sierra, contact approach 134.0. Now our ground speed's starting to go down. Yeah. Here and uh, two, uh, question 790 Golf Tango, SoCal departure, radar contact, your VFR climb on course approved, say request off season. Six seven four three one SoCal departure radar contact VFR climb on course approved. Say request altitude. Six seven four three One thing I wanted to actually get some practice in in real life. So that's cool. That part of my plan was I wanted to be able to use the VOR. Yeah. If you want to go ahead and tune in the uh, Paradise VOR and tell me how you would dra track directly to the Paradise VOR from here. So the frequency is 112.2. I'll just tell you, okay? Okay. Now what? About uh, two six five. That looks like a two, oh, five, two five, five five. Yeah. 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 And look, you're nearly on that course, so you're actually headed right at the Paradise VOR. Right? Yeah. Good. You just keep that needle centered. And I'm losing altitude here. Yes. Number six five four nine or seven. Contact SoCal approach on one three four point zero. 
I always get a frequency change as I'm all fucked up on my altitude. <laughs> Sound like someone was trying to talk, but... Uh, you may not be able to get it. Ontario altimeter 2981. Yeah, maybe you can. Focal approach, Cessna 6549076500. Cessna 65497, Focal approach, altimeter 2981. 2981 maintain VFR at or above 4,500 will advise and advise in the elevator mic. I'm sorry, can you repeat the altitude restriction for 4907? At or above 4,500. At or above 4,500 and we'll get the information, 65497. Alright, stop. I remember the number and then I say my call sign and then I get all fucked up. <laughs> yeah, it just comes with experience. Let's go ahead and get uh, information, Mike. Go into the bottom radio 128.8. And we'll just monitor by hitting a little comp 2 thing on the top. Cessna 65497, we have information, Mike. I do. One three shouldn't be too bad. No, that's not bad. Uh, so we're flying it today. Pop up today. When are you going to solo it? 24.1, A14 tank pop. Oh, I'll find some time. That should be easier, because I don't have to worry about your schedule. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. No, I wanted to, uh, I was going to actually come solo three, yesterday four, five, going to 14. in 84 Juliet, just because it was available, but then I got busy with the kids. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, all right, next weekend. Three, uh, Socal Squawk 4634. Weather dependent. 634, Minchan 3. You do need to book an hour with me. But that's not going to be too hard. We have a brand new flight instructor coming on on Wednesday. Okay. So my uh, schedule is going to start opening up, okay? So I book an hour with you to go over the flight plan? Yep. And the rest of the time's in the airplane, we have not on my time. Delta 2095, 180, descending right. via the Disney. We have information golf. Delta 2095, so Calipur, Shell Timeter 2981, information hotel current. 2981, we'll get hotel, Delta 2095. He's trying to be ready to contact. Six miles northwest Skylark and uh, advise two minutes prior to jump. You going to 14 only? That's straight to 14. We'll advise two minutes prior to jump. Can we just drop you off and then uh, yeah, I was solo the rest myself? I should have just brought a parachute. I could just jump out. And right up here. We're going to fly it like right over my house, too. There is a field right by my house. Yeah. Ever do any, uh, we've, we've done soft field approaches, right? And landings? Yeah. 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 Okay, let's do it. I wanted to actually do a real one, so yeah. <laughs> let's do it. We can, as long as we do it in a flight school owned airplane. So we could do it in an 84 Juliet. This one's a lease. Right. Can't do okay. it in a lease. Yeah. Sounds good. We'll do it sometime. Doesn't look like anything's moving down there. Yeah, I know, it's a little bit slower than on the way through. We're 90.5 as opposed to 130. <laughs> well, I just met at your airport. Yeah? Oh, yeah, that too. 
Oh, it's got one of those funky things, not the windsock, but the uh... tetrahedron. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Those are great because you can manually set the uh, the uh, landing direction. Yeah. The uh, what do you call the runway? The um, the main use runway. I don't. I forget what it's called now. Tomlin runway. Yeah. Sure. Why not? I don't know. <laughs> there's, there's a word for it that I never use, and so I forgot what it is. I don't want to say the active. It's not an active Frontier runway 265. on an untowered airport. 24 That's not it. 24 and 1, Frontier 265. Good night. Visibility though, but yeah, yeah, we're fine. Alright, so uh, going back to the VOR, since we got some time, I want to teach you about identifying the VOR as well. You know how to do that? Because okay, technically, yeah. we should use the process tune, identify, twist, okay? Yeah. And then you also hit this in as well. And then you control the volume here. Oh, there it is. Number 73 Sierra, maintain VFR at or above 4,500 now. VFR at or above 4,500 under 73 Sierra. Oh, we're in paradise now, huh? Do you compare it to the, uh, the Mars code? That's right. Contact Hill Calipers 125.5. Twist is this part? Contact 125.5. That's a twist, yep. Alright. Well, Santa's circuit 2690 is out of 9.7 descending on the Disney arrival. Hotel Hotel Current, altimeter 29881. 369, contact SoCal Bridge, 124.1. Okay, so it's the six five four nine or seven. We're gonna descend to four thousand five hundred from six thousand five hundred. The four nine seven you can descend unrestricted and uh just contact March approach one three three point five for transition. Have a good day. 
All right, one three three point five for the transition. Uh, six five four nine or seven. So are they gonna like terminate? He, he, he didn't tell you to squawk VFR, so I'd say on this frequent, on this uh, squawk delta 395. Four. Didn't he just? I mean, wouldn't it be more sense if he just handled the transition request? You would think so, but just this guy's expecting you, so you're so still four, technically transitioning. So should I switch over? Or? Yeah, to 133.5? Yeah. yeah, just... My last call in second. He's expecting you. Did I not turn this thing on? It hasn't been... Oh yeah, it's on, it's just not connected. Oh well, that's great. Oh no, it is. Retarded. Alright, we're entering. March approach, Cessna 65497. It's about... 10 miles to the east, uh, requesting a transition. 65497, March approach, March altimeter 2981. 2981, 65497. That's wrong one. March approach, Cessna 67431 and 4500, request. Cessna 497, say your type aircraft and your uh, destination. 497's uh, Cessna 172 and we're Inbound to uh, Riverside Municipal, Ro Romeo Alpha Lima. I know he knows. 497, Roger. Altitude your discretion to Riverside. Altitude our discretion. Uh, 654907, thank you. Alright, remember we're descending down. We want to make sure we get our mixture in a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Man. Easy in this direction. Yeah. Because of the direction the sun's in. Yeah, 4,500 for now. Sounds good. Or something. Yeah. Highlight balloon. Looks like it. Yep. It's a birthday balloon. Happy birthday.
what sucks? What's that? I really haven't done a damn thing and I get to log all this as PIC time and you don't. <laughs> oh, it sucks for you, I should clarify that. That's all right. Yeah. Hard paying your dues, right? Yep. What have I done? I got a few radio calls. Gave some pointers here and there and some things you asked about. That was about it. Then. Easy, it's hard to see. Yeah, I got the airport in sight only because I know the terrain. Uh, it's like right off our nose. Is it? Yep. Man, I'm not seeing it. Just a 67431 march. Uh, say your request. It's slightly request left. Flight following to Long Beach and yeah. 4,500, okay. 1, 6, You can see 2, 7 kind of going in like that. Yeah. If I turn this way, I can... Yeah, sure, go ahead, point right at it. Maybe they'll give us a straight in, I don't know. They probably will. All right, let's let them know we have it in sight, though. March approach, 65497, uh, I have a field in sight. 497, Roger. Squawk 1200, and uh, to change your crew, and before you go, you have traffic at uh, 1 o'clock, 4 miles opposite direction, indicating 2,500, not talking to him. Got him on TCAS. Uh, we're looking for him, and we got him on the TCAS. Uh, frequency change approved. Do you have a good night, uh, 65497? 497, Roger. All right. Four four seven four Hotel Riverside Tower. Uh, inner left traffic runway two seven reported being the tower. Left traffic for two seven reported being seven hotel. Riverside Tower Cessna six five four nine or seven is about a mile west of Marchfield inbound for landing with uh, Mike. Forgot what it was. Cessna 459 at Riverside Tower, make us straight into runway 27, report crossing 9131 final. Correct him on our tail number. That was for uh, 65497, correct? Yeah, 65497. All right, we'll make for a straight in or report crossing the 91, 65497. Awesome. Yeah, now, right? Yep, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I got that other traffic. No factor. Couple. Yeah, it's getting a little busy in here. I'll oh, just look at the critical guys within two miles. What's so funny is when I was uh, first started my training here, I didn't. I just came from Oregon. I didn't know the freeways very well, and I was coming in from the east. And they told me to, same thing, report crossing the 91. I reported crossing the 60, and they're like, we don't see you. I'm like, I'm over the, over the 91. I was way back there. That's funny. Yeah. I, I felt like such a familiar with the dumb, area. dumb. Yeah, I should have. I was a dumb student. Yeah. traffic apparently right off our right 600 feet below same direction i don't see him uh helicopter probably yeah no, it's just above the school there he's uh, orbiting around oh, i got him. okay would have been nice to know about no cow i mean tower and i see uh, traffic on short final as well 
That I don't see. They're over the runway now. Oh, now I see the reflection. Yep. Airside Tower, Cessna 65497 is crossing the 91. Cessna 497, runway 27, cleared to land, wind is 27013. Cleared to land, runway 27, 6 Hotel Alpha, runway 27, turn left on Alpha, taxi back, and remain as frequency advised when you're ready to copy your IFR. Taxi 27 on Alpha, and we're ready to copy 6 Hotel Alpha. Mooney 74 Hotel, number 2, following assessed on mile final. Number 2, following assessed on 74 Hotel. Assessed 816 Hotel Alpha, cleared to Carlsbad via the Riverside published obstacle departure procedure, Paradise, Victor 186, Robin. Picture 458, Oceanside, direct. Climb and maintain 4,000. Expect 7,000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 135.4. Squawk is 4614. Clear to uh, Palomar Airport via the Riverside ODP. Guys, Victor 186 to Robin. Victor 458 to Oceanside, and then direct. Climb and maintain 4,000. 7,010 minutes after departure. Departure frequency is 135.4 and we'll squawk 4614. The 6 Hotel Alpha, reback is correct. Mooney, Sedmore Hotel, your traffic's on a short final. Runway 27, clear to land. Clear to land, number 2, South Hotel. And 816 Hotel Alpha, be ready at the end. Six Hotel Alpha, Roger. Uh, hold short, runway 27 for IFR release. Hold short for our release, Six Hotel Alpha. Home sweet home. Hey, Riverside. Six four hundred seven left at Echo, down Echo to parking, monitor the ground. Our left at Echo, down Echo to parking, and we'll monitor ground, 654 I prefer if you stop your airplane and clean it up, but okay, next time. Oh, taxi light, you didn't have your landing light on. No, I didn't. You don't technically need it. It's daytime, but it can increase your visibility. All right. But yeah, next time, stop. Even after he gives you your taxi clearance, you can take a second to clean up your airplane. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Make sure you get everything that way you're not hotel, fiddling with stuff while you're taxiing. destination okay. on the field. Okay. Oh, I never. Oh. When he said more hotel, taxi Alpha Golf, so and then ramp to yeah. transient, monitor ground. The 6 Hotel Alpha, runway 27, cleared for takeoff. Oh, that was fun. Yes, it was. Great job. What's up with the uh, V-tail over there? Oh, that's um, Jose's Bonanza. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, that's Jose's Bonanza. Get one, Roger. Approved. Very old school V-tail Bonanza. Very old school. Things from like 1952 or something like that. Which is kind of crazy to think about that a machine that was built 50 years, less than 50 years after flight was invented and founded, is still a valid aircraft today. <laughs> right? The whole aviation thing's pretty new. If you think of it that way. A little cockeyed here is watching that wing. Ah, a little bit, it's fine. I think we'll be alright. Should be good enough to hopefully be able to tie it down. I think it'll be fine.
Alright. Avionics are going off.